And today we'll be taking a look at Outlook.com, Microsoft's new email client. Microsoft is trying to go away from Hotmail and also live email clients and we have Outlook. Now, of course, if you do have a Hotmail account or a live account, all you have to do when you go to Outlook.com is just sign in with your Hotmail or live uh, passwords uh, accounts, uh, you know, username and password, and you have an Outlook.com account. Now, of course, Microsoft is using Outlook as a framework because uh, Outlook is basically, you know, their best and most successful email client. As you can see, it says live.com at the very top here. So we still are within that live Hotmail framework, but Microsoft is doing a whole redesign here. So you do have a couple of things that are very different here. It's a very clean and slick interface. You can see very reminiscent of Windows 8. You do have your Outlook logo here. You can click on that to expand new, basically to, to write new, new emails on the top. This is the chat option. Of course, this is the settings option. And of course, shows you the account board at work. In the right-hand corner, you do have all your ads. And the ads, you can see that they do kind of pop up. Very nice, clean, non-intrusive ads. So if you want to go there, you can actually jump to the ads. On the left-hand side, you have your folders. You have your inbox, your junk mail, draft, sent, delete. And you can create new folders as you choose. You have your quick view for documents, flagged, photos, shipping. Now, photos mean whatever photos there are are attached to emails or on the emails, wherever it is, it will actually bring up photos. You can just search for photos that way, of course, shipping updates. And you can create new categories to look for things in those categories. You do have an email search option, which searches through your email, and it's actually pretty solid. I did it on my personal account. This is just showing you off uh, a border work account here. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the first thing here we're looking at the email. So we have an email here from Windows Live. You can see the email layout, uh, very simple and clear, of course. Um, you do have uh, options for social updates and you can schedule a cleanup. Um, and then you can actually scroll through the emails by just hitting up or down button on the left or right. And you can X out here which is to just go back to messages. And you can see how the email framework looks. It's very spread out and it's solid. Now, in each email, you can still draft a new. You can reply. And reply options are for all or forward. You can delete. You have junk mail, a phishing scam, my friend has been hacked which you basically can inform um, uh, Hotmail, oh sorry, uh, Microsoft, their friends may hack. You have sweep, which is remove from all, delete, schedule, clean up, manage those rules, or you can actually move to and move to different areas or create a new folder. You can actually also move into categories and the, the ca expanded categories are here. You have bills, documents, family. So they have created some categories for you to use. You can manage those and create new categories. And you do have your option here for mark on red, red flagged, and all that fun stuff. Now, let's take a look at creating a new email. So you hit the new button, and this is the layout you get. It's very similar to what you have with, you could say, Office itself. So you do have an email. You can basically select an email if you want, or and or you just type it out. Type type the person's name, and the email will pop up. And you do have your subject matter here. So you can attach files. You do have the typical email fonts here. You can send an email, save the draft, of course, spell check options for rich text, plain text, normal priority, and so forth. And you can cancel this all together. And we will do that right now. So we hit cancel, and that's gone. So that's all gone out of the way. Now, I mentioned we do have a chat option here. We can actually jump into that by hitting this. And we it says start a conversation. So how do you start a conversation? You basically just click on that uh, into the box and it shows you all your friends who are online. So you can actually scroll through and select a friend who's online. And um, let's see who we have here. You know what, let's just click on that and say hi. And we have a chat going on. So we can use our X that out and go back to our email and continue. Now, another thing is looking at the main I uh, Outlook icon the top left hand corner. Oh, replied said hi. So there we go. Uh, testing out. Outlook.com uh, chat. Um, so that's that. We'll just X out of that for a second. And then if you go here, we can click on this. And that brings this menu. It's very reminiscent of uh, a Windows 8. So you have your mail option, people, calendar, and SkyDrive. So we're going to people. Now we can go through and look at the list of people we've connected from our Facebook. Twitter, you connect, connect Facebook and Twitter, Twitter uh, connected right there. Google contacts can come in, LinkedIn, and import contacts from any other way, or you can just say no thanks. And just you can search by either typing, or you can actually use this option 
again, like Windows Phone or like Windows 8, you can actually jump in and say, oh, my friend, uh, I can't really spell the name out, but it starts an R, and I jump right there, and, you know, there it is. You see Randy Moss. So uh, that's the option you have to get out of there. You can, of course, hit the icon. And these are the parts where it's now similar to like um, – it's still not been updated. It hasn't been fully updated yet to uh, Outlook.com interface. So if I hit calendar, it takes me actually to the live calendar. So it's still the old calendar framework uh, that you have here. So it's still something that's, you know, to take note that Microsoft still making uh, updated changes to this. I can head back by just hitting home. And this will take me back to my Outlook email. If I go to SkyDrive, it still takes me back to the old live format. You can see how it looks like. Um, and then if I hit home, this will head back home here. Uh, the the option also for Skype, the Skype will be built in. So basically, we can add contacts from Skype, and we actually make Skype video calls, but that's not there yet, but will come soon. And uh, But so far, we like the clean interface. We like what Microsoft is trying to do here. Hopefully, um, you know, this continues and we'll see uh, better updates. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the new outlook.com, let us know. You can leave comments with this video. Video. Otherwise, do subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And if, if you're also looking for some of our cool wallpapers, we have them on Pinterest on an anime Pinterest page. So you can check out the, the uh, photos there and download and use them for yourself. They're not mine, so they're free. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.